Number five then from paper two of the new higher maths. Here we go, nine marks, vector question here. First part just for two marks, but it's got the vectors here written in terms of combinations of the unit base vectors, which can be a bit annoying because you like to write the little column vectors just of the components. Still, what does it say? Express PQ in terms of I, J, and K. In other words, write it out this way. Well, how do you get from P to Q? Well, if we get to go from P to Q, you don't know that way. You could go from P to S, but you don't know that either. So you've got to go from P to R and then go from R to S. Sorry, R to Q. So it's just what it says here then. It's P to R and then it's R to Q. Do you need to show the working for this bit? It's only the two marks because I don't want to write all that out again as that plus that. Can I not just take the two parts? Maybe I'll just write this down. I'm sure you wouldn't be penalised if you couldn't be, what's the word, bothered just writing that out. I'll put it in that form for the answer. Well, I don't see why I couldn't just have added it up there and just stated it. So 9 take away 12 is negative 3, so it's negative 3i. 5 take away 9 is minus 4, so it's minus 4j, and 2 and 3 is 5, so it's 5k, which you could just have read off from the three parts. Now, B says S divides QR in the ratio of 2 to 1 two steps to one step, show that PS is given again by this vector written in terms of the unit base vectors. Just to be annoying, I suppose. Well, to go from P to S, same as before, I don't know PS, but to go from P to S, I'll go first of all from P to R, and then I'll go from R to S. There's P to R I know already, I think I'm just going to put this down as column vectors here because P to R was that 9, 5, 2. I just need to find RS. Now, RS is 2 thirds. I'll put a note here. RS is 2 thirds because it's 2 steps out of the 3. It's 2 thirds of RQ. So it's 2 thirds of this one, negative 12, negative 9, 3. I'll just pop them into here doing the calculation on the way over. So 3 into that goes 4, so 2 4s makes it the negative 8. 3 into 9 goes 3, times 2 will make it the negative 6. And 3 into 3 goes 1, times 2 makes it the 2. Adding those together then will give you 1, negative 1, 4, which on writing it out in this form here becomes 1 step across minus 1 step back plus 4 steps up as required. So in part C, for five marks, what's the size of angle QPS, this angle in here? Now, if you want to find this angle using vectors and the scalar product, you'll need the vectors that radiate away. So you'll need PQ and you need PS. That's exactly what you've got. So you can just launch into it. So cos QPS will be, I'll just put it down first of all, PQ dot PS, as in the scalar product, over the magnitude of PQ times the magnitude of PS. So I need to work out these three things, and there's probably a mark for each of those. Well, there might be a mark for one of those and one for the two magnitudes, I'm not sure. So, PQ dot PS would be, I'll just write them down. So, multiplying the X component, negative one times three, and adding on multiplying the y component, and adding on, because it's a scalar, the result, not a vector, multiplying the z components should give you, that's negative 3, but that's a plus 4, and that's a plus 20, so that comes to 21. Now, magnitude, magnitude of PQ. Do we have to write it all down? Oh, I'm just going to jump straight in. So, it's square these, I'm just going to square them straight off. So that's 9 plus 16 plus 25. What's 25 and 25? So that's 50, which is a bit of annoying because it simplifies. And you're never sure, should I simplify it? PS, meanwhile, is going to be the square root of 1, 1, just square on these numbers, and 16. 
and that's the square root of 18, which is again annoying because that simplifies. But you know, you're just going to put this into your calculator, aren't you? So you don't actually need to simplify them. If you require to simplify them, that's 25 times 2, so that's 5 root 2. That's 9 times 2, so that's 3 root 2. Whoops, a daisy maisy. So putting it together, not sure which ones to put in now, because it's not going to produce a cosine that I know anyway. So that would be 21 over, if I put those in, oh, 5 root 2 times 3 root 2, but I don't see what's wrong with just putting in root 50 times root 18, because as soon as I do that, I'm, I'm forced to tidy it up. Well, look, root 2 times root 2 is 2, 2 5s are 10, 10 3s are 30, so it's 21 over 30. Oh, you've got a calculator, you just press the buttons, wouldn't you? But 21 over 30, both divide by 3 to 7 upon 10. So this angle, angle QPS, is going to be the inverse cos of 7 tenths. But you could just have done inverse cos of 21 over root 50 root 18, in all likelihood. And if you put that in, you get 45.572 and so on. So I reckon that would be 45.6 degrees.